Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am going to put three, I'm going to say articles, things that I want to report on, say a little bit of each, and put the links in the description box for those who are interested. Okay, the very first one is very concerning to me. It's called Amazon Plans to Share Your Internet with Your Neighbors. Here's how you opt out. That's the title put up June 2nd. All right, now down here, this is put up by WKMG News 6. Click Orlando. If you have an Amazon device in your home, you have one week to opt out of an experiment that could put your privacy at risk. This is crazy. According to News 6 partner KPRC, Amazon Sidewalk will be a shared network that is supposed to help customer devices work better both in and around your home. Now, what if what work better? Can you hear each other? What, I mean, what? Okay, let me just read to you what this says on here. Opting out of sidewalk. This is a two-minute video. It says on the first thing you see, you open your Alexa app. Open. It put quotes around all these others. More. The next thing, you select settings. Then you select account settings. Then you select Amazon Sidewalk. And then you select Disable Amazon Sidewalk. So it sounds like this has been put in your device already. And you might want to listen to this video. I would play it, except this is news, and they would get me for copyright in a minute. All right. So I'm going to move on to the next thing. And someone put five thumbs down. Five thumbs down. I'm like, okay, if you don't want to be reported on you don't want to hear about this you're crazy all right i'm sorry but uh you should opt out and not be letting your neighbors know your stuff this is an article from cnbc now these are mainstream media but some of these you know they do tell the truth now and then and always use caution and whatever discernment this says jbs what does that stand for jbs it might say later i don't know uh cyber attack here's another cyber attack from gas to meat hackers are hitting the nation and consumers where it hurts remember when the gas they had to stop the gas uh, pumping and all for, what was it, a week or five days, something like that, a couple weeks ago. Well, now it's the meat uh, packing places. All right, it says uh, the ransomware attack on meat processing giant JBS raises the issue of food security as a national security threat caused by criminal hacking. It was just a month ago that the U.S. faced a ransomware attack on the Colonial Pipeline. Oh, it's been a month? Wow. Which escalated energy security concerns. 
and led to panic buying of gas by consumers. The recent targeted attacks on cr critical infrastructure controlled by private enterprise are a strategic ploy by hackers to hit companies at key points in supply chains and more effectively leverage ransom demands and there are consequences in commodities and consumer markets. I don't understand that part. But anyway, you can click on the link for this and read a lot more. Here's a picture of their cattle gate. So th this is going from live cattle to the butcher area to the hamburger producing places. I mean, this was published Wednesday, June 2nd. So it's, a, it's real recent. Done by Eric Rosenbaum. All right, next one. California uh, officials find listeria. All right. This is from Food Safety News. It's another product recall with listeria. California officials find listeria in mushrooms. Nationwide recall initiated. Now this was put out on May 31st. All right. California Terra Garden Incorporated of Commerce, California is recalling all cases of its 150 gram or 5.3 ounce packages of seafood mushroom. It's a product of China because they have the potential to be contaminated with listeria monocytogenes. Okay, so I'll take a packet, a packet. I'll take a picture of that. That'll be our picture for today. I tell you what, these, it, it doesn't it kind of sound like some stuff might be getting done on purpose? I just wonder, you know, to cause food shortage. I think that something like this seems like you could wash them well and then cook them well. You just, maybe they're supposed to go in salad raw or something. Don't eat them raw. Do what you want. But uh, if you see these, you see, it says nationwide. So apparently they're shipped to all kind of places. Um... All right, the distribution of the product has been suspended. They're urged to return them to a place of purchase for full refund. They're in a clear plastic package with description, seafood mushroom in English and French, and Guan, T-U-A-N's logo on the front. At the back, there is a UPC code of 8592. You need to pull it up to look that up. No illnesses have been reported to date in connection with this problem. I guess... <laughs> it says that food contaminated with listeria monocytogenes may not look or smell spoiled but can still cause serious and sometimes life-threatening infections. Anyone who has eaten any recalled mushrooms and developed symptoms of listeria infections should seek medical treatment and tell their doctors about the possible listeria exposure. Also, anyone who has eaten any of the recalled mushrooms should monitor themselves for symptoms during the coming weeks 
because it can take up to 70 days after exposure to listeria for symptoms of listeriosis to develop. Symptoms of listeria infection can include vomiting, nausea, persistent fever, muscle aches, severe headache, and neck stiffness. Specific laboratory tests are required to diagnose listeria infections, which can mimic other illnesses. Pregnant women, the elderly, young children, and people such as cancer patients who have weakened immune systems are particularly at risk of serious illnesses, life-threatening infections, and other complications. Although infected pregnant women may experience only mild flu-like symptoms, their infections can lead to premature delivery. It's getting dark. Infection of the newborn or even stillbirth. So, not to be taken lightly by... I would say anyone. I, it's obviously not contagious, but you, you don't want to have that. If, if there's a treatment that you can take for it ahead of time, that would be good. All right, that's all I have for now. Um, please keep me in your prayers because my exhaustion is, is a little more than I should be having a lot more okay um i don't want to no i'm not going to end up um just keep me in your prayers love you all and i plead the blood of jesus over you every night and i can i will continue to do so all right bye for now i'll talk to you later